Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 2 of Feed the Beast Tutorials. Last episode, if you remember, or if you didn't see the episode, I showed you how to make the Powered Spawner, which is a pretty cool and deep device. So I'm going to remove those death waypoints, and as you can see, I've configured it to spawn Enderman. And if you guys are wondering how this works, go check out episode 1, as that's where I show, I show you how to do it. So first things first, for the killer Joe, he's going to require some nutrients distillation. Um, and this stuff, I believe that's what it's called, yeah, nutrient distillation. You make it in a vat with like either some skeleton skulls, zombie brains, sugar, fermented spider eyes, mushrooms, and just stuff like that. So it's not too difficult to make, and you do make it in a vat, which I'm going to show you how to make in a later episode. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to break the floor a second here, and I'm going to put this tank down. And this killer Joe should begin to take it in, which he did. If I make, if I uh, just click on this little configuration IO thing, I can then make him pull essence tank, all essence from the tank below. And then I can put a sword in here, which he's going to use to be able to fight the monsters. So now if I turn this guy on, he should begin to spawn Enderman. Which is pretty cool. And I can put this stuff down to collect the items that the Killer Joe actually collects. You can also get experience from it. There you go, so until the Killer Joe is killing the Enderman. And then this guy, I believe, gets the experience and the items, I believe. Now, in fact, I don't believe they actually get put into this chest. So, that's how I thought they would work. But I believe what you're going to want to do, if you want to collect the items, is, as you can see, stuff's just sitting on the floor and the killer Joe's not really bothered about it. So what you're going to want to do is get yourself something like a vacuum chest and place your vacuum chest about here and he'll pull items towards it and see now he's storing those ender pearls. So, so it pulls nearby items into the inventory. So yeah, thank you for watching this tutorial guys. Next episode I may come with a vacuum chest although you can have seen it in this episode and also yeah, you see, so you can take experience from it, so I can see now I've uh, it's deposited into my XP bank at the bottom there. And next episode, I'm probably going to cover the VAT. So yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye from the sea caps. Although it does look like the powered spawner is spawning mobs outside of the glass pen we made. So yeah, goodbye from the Plum from the sea caps.